Hey, welcome back, everybody. So I just got done watching the Kyle Rittenhouse trial for today and jump on Twitter to see what people were talking about. And I see the CNN segment where they've begun crafting this alternate reality timeline myth where Kyle Rittenhouse was given favorable coverage by the media. And she claims that this is the reason that Kyle testified. Of course, not because he's confident in the fact that he did nothing wrong. My brain can almost not fathom the depths to which this propaganda network will go. Laura, do you agree? Would you have put him on the stand? If I was defense, I would have put him on the stand because, of course, remember the publicity surrounding this trial, there was a lot of a sympathetic media towards him. People who thought about him as essentially a bit of a martyr from this inflection point on racial tension in America. The idea of the amount of sort of GoFundMe-esque aids that came to his assistance. You are damaged goods, lady. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let me calm down first. No, the media coverage was never favorable to Kyle, and we're going to get right to that. But first, let's address her claim that the reason he got this alleged favorable coverage had something to do with race. The only way that race was used here was by the media, who purposely withheld inconvenient details about the Jacob Blake shooting. Specifically, that he sexually assaulted a woman, was armed with a knife, and was fighting with police as he tried to kidnap two kids before he was shot. The riot that resulted was a direct result of these lies of omission by the media. The very idea that that shooting had anything to do with race has zero evidence. Yet, to this day, the media claims that it was a racial justice protest. Second, all the support for Kyle on Facebook and GoFundMe was banned. Lastly, let's just take a big old giant whiff of this alleged support that was given by the media. Brought to us by Grabian News with a few touches of my own, which you can find the link for in the description and pinned comment. Kenosha shooter Kyle Rittenhouse, he murdered two people, by the way. Rittenhouse is basically what you would have had in a school shooter. He's a 17-year-old kid. He shouldn't have had a gun. He crossed state lines to supposedly protect property. No, he was going out to shoot people. Kyle Rittenhouse, the 17-year-old vigilante. Kyle Rittenhouse, the vigilante. Kyle Rittenhouse, the armed teenage vigilante. A 17-year-old vigilante, arguably a domestic terrorist, picked up a rifle, drove to a different state to shoot people. Kyle Rittenhouse, a guy who's deeply racist and went with weapons to a Black Lives Matter protest looking to get in trouble. He did. He murdered a couple of people. Rittenhouse, uh, the 17-year-old kid, just running around shooting and killing protesters. You see the 17-year-old who was radicalized by Trumpism, took his AR-15 to Kenosha and became a killer. A white, Trump-supporting, MAGA-loving, uh, Blue Lives Matter social media uh, uh, partisan, 17 years old, picks up a gun, drives from one state to another with the intent to shoot people. A 17-year-old boy who drove across state lines with an AR-15 and started uh, shooting people up, including a guy with a skateboard. Kyle Rittenhouse, who has killed protesters, unarmed protesters. Rittenhouse is a 17-year-old that went with a weapon into the middle of uh, protests uh, and then provoked people and then shot and killed them. Kyle Rittenhouse is the enemy. A boy from out of state drives up to the state with an AR-15 around his neck, shoots right and kills yeah. a couple of people, uh, shooting wildly, running around, uh, acting like uh, Rittenhouse. Drove across state lines armed with a rifle to go and shoot people. The fact is, Kyle Rittenhouse was running from a mob that attacked him and shot at him before he shot anybody. Even after he warned them with his deadly weapon, they continued to pursue him and attack him. That's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Then let me know what you think in the comments.